Alright, welcome back to another gun build in Modern Warfare. Uh, it's been a while since last upload, but this one I think will be pretty cool. Uh, right now, we're not really going to be getting any new guns uh, for this game since Cold War and stuff kind of jumped in. Uh, but currently, we do have another three guns that are being slowly worked on since this game has kind of been like now left behind while the Cold War 1 is going up. So you won't really be seeing a whole lot of gun builds for this game for uh, a long time. Or in a little bit here, unless I just kind of do like, you know, either a repost or kind of jump back and show these things again for, you know, uh, past COD experience and stuff. So, uh, aside from all that stuff, I'm going to be making another gun build. And this is going to be going off of the Rytec Amor, aka the Barrett 50 Cal. And it is one of the cooler looking sniper rifles, in my opinion, due to the, having certain things that make it to where it is insanely cool. One, it is semi-automatic, so you can technically spam this thing and turn it into somewhat of a very heavy DMR, or like a marksman rifle in its category, but it's still not going to be near as fast. But what I'm going to be doing is turning it into the fastest it can possibly go, and I'm going to have somewhat of a two-build kind of deal here. So let's go ahead and start off with the barrels, and this one's one of the biggest. We're going to always have to go with the F TAC four, uh, 448 millimeter dictator barrel. Now this will give you an aim down sight speed increase and uh, movement speed, which I believe is 1.5% uh, for our movement speed there. So it's not a whole lot for there. The aim down sight speed is also increased. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't really go into those kind of details. I just know it does make it faster. Uh, so this is what you do need, I believe it cuts down your aim down size and down size speed by at least 100 milliseconds. Again, I'm not really sure. Uh, from there, we want to go with the laser, which is the only option that you have here is the attack laser, and that will also increase your ADS speed, and that will drop it by about the same amount. So I believe it goes up from 700, and now this is about almost... Uh, 598 I think it's at 601 right now if I'm not mistaken but looking at other uh, people's work there now the optic we want to go down to looks like the lightest one will be the VOK three times optic it'll make it to where it's the large as goes are actually able to see a pretty good amount of your screen and it also gives you the most amount of speed out of it and from there you want to go to the stock and you want to select the only one that gives you an aim down sight speed bo uh, bonus and uh, that will be the stopple tank wrap. And from there, uh, we just want to go with the good old stipple grip tape. And that will give you the fastest DMR or sniper rifle that is essentially a really heavy DMR. Now this thing does hit a lot harder than the rest of the marksman rifles due to it being a 50 cal sniper rifle. And I'm going to go ahead and just take this guy in game. I already set up the bots and stuff. I'm not really going up against other players because, you know, it's... I don't think you guys want to see me die for hundreds and hundreds of times there because I'm sure I ain't one of the best players. So. I'll just go ahead and jump on in. I can show you how fast it'll go. How it's going to be acting. And this is by far one of the faster sniper rifles. Now I think the only one that actually comes close to being as fast as this is the Dragonov. And the Dragonov is not very good because that thing Team takes a minimum of two shots to kill inbound. somebody. So it's not really built for a quick scope. <laughs> now one thing to keep in mind that the... Uh, yeah, the recoil is the biggest thing to this gun. Uh, it is not the best when you make it into a quick scoping machine. I say you can't use it like a quick scoping machine, like I just showed there. As you can see, man, like this thing, the recoil, if you miss once, it's real hard to actually recenter back on there. And these are just boss that just rush you constantly. Ah. 
Now one thing to say, not only that the recoil is not too good, obviously because of that it's not very good at long range, but due to you getting the smaller barrel, it does decrease the bullet velocity by a pretty good amount, so you should not be using this gun at all in uh, close range. Uh, not in close range, uh, long range. I see these guys are kind of screwed too, too much together here, but it's a really cool gun, trust me. <laughs> I'm I'm just bad at actually playing with it. No. Yeah, these guys just melt me here. You run it. Can't even see anything. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's just one of those, like, quick scoping kind of stuff. It is way faster. The, again, the only thing that actually comes close to this is the Dragonov. Uh, the third best gun that will be as fast as this will be the AX-50 and of course the, the slower one will be the anti-material rifle, you know, the uh, HDR. And that thing is just not meant for any kind of quick speed at all. It, it's really just not. I mean, there we go. It's really just a quick video. Uh, if you guys want to try to do this and play into like a real multiplayer match and see if you can get any better luck, because these bots are kind of well, bots, and they all just kind of push them at the same time. Normally, you'll have guys not really doing that in real multiplayer, so it's they're mostly going to be like rats or something and kind of sit in buildings. So, uh, but as you can see there, I mean, I have my sights on him. I'm just I don't really know what what I'm expecting really. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This one's going to be a little bit uh, shorter than the rest. Again, because I mean, this is a pretty straightforward video. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to go over for the gun. I will be making, or I'm going to see if I can make a little bit more videos over this game. And I'll be kind of switching over to Cold War and showing all that stuff. So, again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is just a heavy DMR. It looks pretty dang cool. And I will see you guys in the next one.